I can't believe you're all here and that this is really happening and that we've survived 40 years. I would count it as a major miracle, wherever these miracles come from. People ask me, like, why did you start this company? And first of all, why did you even think you could start a company? And why did you start it in solar, for God's sake, in 1976? If I had known then what I know now, I still would have done it because I've loved virtually every minute of it. Not every single minute, I will admit. There have been some hard times. We didn't have health insurance. We did things we shouldn't have done because we just believed in it. We didn't have any money. I had this wholesale cheese company that I was delivering twice a week. I kept Gary alive by saying, hey, you want to do it in Berkeley? And he was delivering cheese. But we were doing it because we knew this planet was ripe for it. We had to do this, okay? We are facing the greatest odds that this planet has ever seen, that this species has ever seen. And if you don't think that we are an endangered species, you haven't been reading the papers. We started an architecture engineering firm. We called it Interactive Resources. The problem was there weren't any clients. We couldn't find any clients out there. So we thought, you know, we need a hook. We need to do something different. And so we decided that we would get into the solar business. Here we are today. Interactive Resources is still a struggling architecture firm. And these guys, these guys are the biggest solar, solar energy firm in the Bay Area. We're all on the same mission. You heard about the environmental component of this. It's also about social responsibility. We do a lot of multifamily housing, affordable housing. It really sort of fits our ethos. What everybody tends to think is that everything that brought us to where we are was inevitable. Nothing in progress is inevitable. It all comes because pioneers demonstrate leadership. It is the pioneer who in 1976 decides to start a solar energy company. It is a pioneer who survives throughout all those times through their leadership skills, even to the point of selling cheese. And there is no solar company in the United States of America that could say they stayed afloat by selling cheese. It was a defiance of gravity that this company has been open for 40 years. Gary and the crew were not only dedicated to the growth of their company, but to the growth of defossilizing and decarbonizing our economy. Can you name another solar company that's lasted 40 years? Oh, so hip, hip, hooray! Happy, happy birthday. <laughs>